you came to find a very obvious scene. Some people that were brought in by Goku Aido fake, fake, fake. Fake pretending to be the real relatives of uh, Atanias. That is never true. We don't know them from anywhere. And they were here. He has schooled them, telling them that uh, the rest of us, we are uh, paternal brothers and sisters, and they are the real Ataniel's family. It was so disgusting to find an 80-year-old woman pouring libation and hitting her tummy, saying that Fifi Mama won. And I was wondering, if she gave birth as a baby. <laughs> and now, I want to make it clear to everyone that Kumbu has stepped on the wrong foot. Yes. By tempering with our brother's grave.
party for your support each and every year. You started with the public lectures, which we really enjoyed, and now we are going to have the riff lane. We really appreciate it, and uh, we always wish you the best in everything you do. Now concerning our brother, we have lost a great man. We think about him every minute. He was interested in the development of our youth, in the family, and he was giving us guidance as family. He was a unifier. Because our family was divided in political, that is, uh, lines, but he was able to bring us together as one. And that's how we had that Azul Fia Uye slogan. Now, you have said a lot about our brother. He was so caring, especially with the needs. And I remember when we were growing up, he exhibited that. I remember when we were living at Commander College where our dad was teaching. Our mom also had a store at PC. And sometimes he would bring some of the store items that is some uh, provisions to the house to be sold. Our big sister, who was the firstborn, was then in the boarding school. So we were left with our two big brothers, Brother Fifi and Brother Kudum, who was Cadman, Brother Cadman. Now they will take some of the things up to the college to sell to the students. And uh, Brother Kodo will make sure that nobody buys on credit. <laughs> Everything will be intact. And uh, there's no wonder he became the economist. <laughs> but with our big brother, whenever he came back with uh, back to from selling, my mom will ask, Oh, Fifi, how are some bay? Most of the things will be gone. Then he would look straight into my mom and tell her, Mama, students and where your mom were. So we have to sell to them on credit. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, my mom encouraged him because we were thinking that uh, next time my brother wouldn't go for this uh, selling, but he still went. And not that he grown. He used to be very close to Brother Cadman because they had only two years between the two of them. When we moved to Kisi, where we have our family house, the two of them, they used to argue a lot. Now the argument will be based on soccer. Hearts of Oak, yeah, yeah. <laughs> supported by Brother Fifi and Kotoko, being supported by Hanman. <laughs> now whenever there is a game, of us and Kotoko, it will be played in our home first. <laughs> and uh, if uh, they couldn't get their way to play the soccer within our compound, so they will run up and down and guess who was the referee. Oh, poor me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, because I didn't want any third world war, to happen 
Whenever they finish, who won? I said, both of you. <laughs> there was never a dull moment with his brother. And I remember when Cadman uh, had to leave for his further studies abroad. Brother felt lonely. Whenever he came back from Achimota on holidays, uh, he would go for trotting. He was a very sportsman. And then one day, he came home with about 10, 15 children. The eldest was about six years old. And the three-year-olds, my brother brought them home. So my mom asked, oh, Fifi, my mom, that's my team. Hey. So what's the name of the team? He said, and he was fan of a uh, a great supporter of Manchester. So the team was Manchester Team B. <laughs> so I wasn't surprised when they were saying that you know, this cabinet was Team B. How was it? <laughs> My brother already had Team B. Yes. So my mom will have to cook for them before dispatching these kids away. All that he wanted was for them to have a decent meal because their parents will leave them in the villages for them to play around. And my brother will go there, play soccer with them, and bring them home for them to have some meal. We were very happy with that, to help. And everyone knew Brother Fifi in DC. Wherever you went, our names were lost. Brother Fifi's uh, sister or Brother Fifi's brother. So that's what uh, he left us. And now, we are celebrating all this. It would have been 80 years this week. And it's 12th anniversary. We are very touched. But this morning, we came to find a very obvious scene. Some people that were brought in by Goku Aido, fake, fake, fake. Fake pretending to be the real relatives of uh, Atanias. That is never true. We don't know them from anywhere. And they were here. He has schooled them, telling them that uh, the rest of us, we are uh, paternal brothers and sisters. And they are the real Atanias family. It was so disgusting to find an 80-year-old woman Coral libation and hitting her tummy, saying that Fifi Mama won. <laughs> and I was wondering if she gave birth as a baby. <laughs> and now I want to make it clear to everyone that Bubu has stepped on the wrong foot. Yes. By tempering with our brother's grave, without our knowledge, that is totally unacceptable. And now, we are going to do it. Because it's a taboo in our family to do that. Whatever that you want to do, you have to consult the family. And we have to give you our approval. Because you have the money, you go and do everything you want. Well, my brother, please, as we But some of us, we sometimes reserve that as Now, I would like to thank all of you. And especially 
that uh, we are going to get into another election, please let us all unite and work hard to bring a resounding victory for our party, NDC. And our upcoming uh, president, John Ramani Mohama, as well. Thank you very much. Not the good family. Not the high family. The real family. Thank you very much. Antaraba. I was so excited when she told me they were going to stay in Accra and wait for this program. And I asked her, won't she be in Cape Coast for the walk? I said, ah, me, if you met me in Antara. <laughs> But I want to thank Professor Moses' son, Kofi Atanos, for the wonderful work he organized in Cape Coast on Saturday. Yes, you, bro. It's one of the best we've seen in Cape Coast. And, Mr. Chairman, Yes, <laughs> sir.